feel all these different emotions like I'm just cranky that's the only way I can describe it I don't feel bad at all I don't have any pain whatsoever I've never had any pain right. not one ounce of pain I've just well felt, with the catch the catch isn't even painful it's just an irritant it's not even painful twenty dollars <laughs> <laughs> no it's not even painful it's just you breathe in and you feel this catch and it's like if you could just have one big fart you would feel great. I mean, that's the only way I can say it. If you just let that gas go, you would feel better. That's the only way I can describe it. I have to I mean, mark these spots to get them out. No, but I'm just saying, if you could just release some of this gas, I think you would feel better. And there you go. Release the release, gas. Like much that? better. <laughs> feel better. Yeah. So, other than that, I mean, I, I'm going to have to publish this on a three second delay. <laughs> No, but other than that, I feel You're not going to be cursing or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, well, I, what I would like to ask you about, because we're recording this now, is then uh, we see a lot of patients, and they get through the surgery, and they've had a successful surgery, but they have some emotional response, mm -hmm. okay? So I would say that listening to you so far, that the kind of physical results of the surgery have been a big success. Yeah, pretty much. I have right. to say yes. But emotionally, even though it was a big success and you're on your road, you got through a major surgery which is dangerous, it can have risks and leak and infection and death and all kinds of awful, terrible things, none of those things happened. We still see a certain number of our female patients, about 25%, who get either irritable, I think you used the word, or they get grumpy, or they get sad, or they get tearful, or something that seems to be out of proportion to what actually happened. Yeah. In other words, here's something we would generally say it's wonderful, but you don't feel wonderful. Right. There's this emotional kind of mismatch. Yeah, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some people said they feel like they're um, overwhelmed. No? Uh, no, I just word. feel like, right now I feel, um, oh, I feel like I haven't lost any weight, so for me I'm like, right. I'm tight and edgy. I'm right. just edgy, I just yep. can't relax and just take one step at a time like I would probably do normally. So. Okay, so now what we'd like to do is see if we can explain that hormonally okay. and then give you the therapy for it and suggest what to do. You've already way ahead of me on the patch, but let's see if we can go through that again. A heavy person, heavy woman, has high levels of estrogen. Those high levels are so high, in fact, that's one of the reasons why we see increased risk of breast cancer and endometrial cancer and blood clots in heavy women. Okay. And, hallelujah, good news, <laughs> Uh, almost within hours of the surgery, those hormones begin to change. So that's good news. It means, again, positive things are happening because as that estrogen drops, the long-term risk of breast cancer in a study from Canada went down in women who had a bypass compared to controlled overweight women by 85% okay. over a five-year period. Right. Okay? So this is really good news. It also means endometrial cancer is going down. I mean, terrible cancer of the womb. I mean, that's going away, going down. Plus, blood clots go down. Okay. So this is all good, but it's a little bit like quitting smoking. You it's have to great. go through the symptoms before exactly. you get to the, to the benefit. Right, yeah. exactly. If you quit smoking, I'd be happy. I just wouldn't want to be near you. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right. You know, because... And we find that about 25% of our women go through this emotional ups and downs, and the therapy, just like for a smoker, is to try that patch. Gotcha. Okay. So you're good on okay. it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take your staples out? Yeah. All right. Let me get my thing. All right, I'll get my gloves. <laughs> Yay. So that's nice for you to kind of be willing to share that with sure. somebody else who'll be watching there. Good morning.